Today I'm about to introduce a lot of you to one of the best Apex Legends players you've never seen. If you're familiar with America and you live in the United States like I do or in Europe, ASU, uh, NRG Suite, Imperial Hal, even Dizzy from back in the day are players you would know and recognize as the best. But if you're from Korea, there's another name that looms just as large or even larger. And today we're going to break down exactly how they play to add it to your game. Today, it's five rules on Ross. All right, so maybe you want to learn how to 1v3. I've covered this a lot, but Ross gives us a clip that's perfect for how to manage a 1v3 in a very difficult Apex Legends Predator game. Nice. <laughs> All right, so what's special about this? Ross, 1v3s, we've seen this all the time. Well, there's something really great about the way he isolates this one and what makes it a little bit harder than usual. Notice he's taking on two players here, but his movement is so quick, it actually throws the first player off thinking he's still in the truck. After hitting every wingman shot there, he gets a nice armor swap just for the purpose of buying enough time to get up to high ground. And this is a great rule in 1v3. Continually changing your position, isolating yourself from fights, and of course, getting armor swaps when necessary. Without those two armor swaps, he doesn't win this battle. Now this next clip showcases a very important but underutilized rule, which is betting on yourself in close situations. How many of you would dive head first with 10 health when your two teammates are already dead to try to finish off a 1v3. I mean, the punch at the end, the cover, notice how he uses this wall to isolate this first fight, and then when he's getting pushed by the Pathfinder, is able to take another angle of cover to force him out into the open where he's got none to be able to finish him off with the Mastiff. An easy slide, an aggressive slide into the Gibraltar catches him off guard because he's not expecting to get pushed, and that's another down for him. Of course, the punch at the end is beautiful, but I want you to notice this. His aggressive play has now shifted the way the Wraith wants to play against him, and the Wraith is actually playing defensively when she has more health than Ross and actually had more teammates than Ross this entire time, only taking 14 damage that thus far from his Mastiff. This is the power of betting on yourself and what aggressive play can do to change the mentality of your opponents. This next clip is all about juking people out. And trust me, this is a rule that I don't think enough players follow in Apex Legends because when it works, it works. <laughs> Now, two things are beautiful about this. The fainting, the misdirection of Ross when he gets into trouble to go down on the zip line, and then the ability to not only say, I'm going to get aggressive again, to throw off his opponents who now think that he's out of the fight, but also to use the movement mechanics of the zip line to get that extra little jump, that extra little movement to be able to then hit two massive shots onto the opponents nearby. Aggression is the name of Ross's game, and the fact that he's able to allow players to, for a moment, take a break in a fight when there are no breaks when you're playing against a player like Ross truly tells you how successful this strategy can be if you are a more aggressive player. He takes a little time off, jumps on the zip line, and is able to hit two huge massive shots to secure the fight. Yes, he's an entry fragger, and entry fraggers often have to be aggressive, but Ross takes it to another level, which is inspiring and allows us to see a different play style that is super aggressive and super exciting that you may want to adopt in your gameplay and a rule you may want to add. Stay aggressive and keep misdirecting your opponents. 
Uh, we all know it's January, right? Everybody's committing to different things, workout regime, uh, relationships. But Ross, he commits to fights better than almost anyone else. And that commitment to fighting allows him to take that final edge. Within this clip, Ross does a couple of incredible things. One, in the first initiation with the gunfight, he actually uses cover extremely well, even after getting silenced. So that means he has no abilities. Ross carefully understands that he's now committed to this fight as he can't run away since he's got eight seconds before any of his safety comes back online. Therefore, he decides, even though he hasn't taken too much damage, to not actually try to play this slowly and finish the fight off early before the team can get a bigger advantage. As Ross jumps up off the ledge, he's actually able to catch the Bloodhound with a nice peacekeeper shot and the more impressive 360 spray turning around and finding him with the R99 for the down. Ross then takes one of the tenants of great Apex Legends play and jumps onto the high ground, but not only does that, as he shoots a PK shot, hits for 88, turns around midair, and continues to hit with the R99. Now here's where the big statement comes in. This Revenant is running. He is not committed to this fight, and it shows why Ross is so good and why committing to a fight can put you at such an advantage. Revenant and him might have had a chance to spray each other and maybe do 100 damage each, but instead, the Revenant decides to turn his back. He can now do no damage to Ross, and Ross has an easy cleanup with the PK. It's just impressive to see a player being this aggressive so consistently, but I think that's what makes Ross so enjoyable to watch. Now, this last rule speaks for itself. Ross is a master at being aggressive. He's a master at committing to fights. He's a master at misdirection, but he's also a master at aiming and moving. So many of you in Apex Legends do not know how to move and aim well, and Ross puts on a masterclass right now. Whether mid-air, whether 316, whether sliding off or onto a building or even kicking off a wall, Ross doesn't miss. And if you learn how to do this, you're gonna be hard to hit and you're gonna hit a lot. Wow. Now that we're bringing this video to a completion around Ross, I mean, look at the high ground movement, but that shot right there, sliding off the ledge of the building is so impressive. Notice the toggle between aiming down sights and hip firing, especially when an opponent gets close. This is a tenant that players need to use. And something I talked about that Shiv FPS in my video on him is extremely good at, being able to recognize when to change the pace, when to get a little bit more movement, as aiming down sights, as we love to mention on this channel, does slow you down and it's a real big sign if you only aim that way to show that you're a newer player. This moment though is something special. As Ross is in the middle of this fight, he doesn't have his best of a trading weapon like the Massive and so anticipating that, he actually kicks off, jumps and kicks off the wall to delay the timing and the positioning of the Mastiff shot and avoids where the Revenant thinks he's going to be. Now he still gets 80 damage on him, but it's a great attempt of showcasing how a little bit of misdirection and a little bit of movement while staying aggressive can help you to win a trade that your weapon shouldn't really allow you to win. That's just a flashy style of the Arc Star, but notice, once Roz gets you slightly low, he's coming for you. He keeps his foot on the jugular, and that's how you know Roz is in a game. 
So now you should know the name Ross, whether you're in Korea, the US, or anywhere in the world of Apex Legends. The man is aggressive, commits to fights, understands how to misdirect his opponents, and do so many of the fundamental things that make him a great entry fragger and one of the best and most exciting players to watch in the world. This has been five rules, but if you guys want to stay tuned for more breakdowns of great players in Apex Legends or just FPS tenants in general, make sure to follow here at Rain Day Gaming. And remember to never give up, never stop gaming, follow Ross on all his socials and show him some love. And as always, see you guys next time.